I do not know what's going on. It is the end of July. I've just made a hot water bottle. <laughs> it's meant to be like, you know, a gorgeous summer and it's not here. Anyway, we'll try and stay positive for today's video. I have bought a iced Americano, hoping that, you know, we'd bring some sunshine, but that did not work. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, today's video, I am going to be doing a July uh, recap and August reset for the month of August 2023. And I just wanted to share a few things like what's been going well, what tips I have for things I've been learning in the last month and um, just a reset kind of video to talk about some things that I wanna implement going forward in August. So normally how I sort of set these videos out is I will do a recap on the previous month and like what went well with that month, what I wanna continue on and I'm happy about. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is that I found this really good video on um, YouTube and it's a morning meditation that I've been doing and I'm gonna find the video and put it in the description because it was just it's like a 20 minute manifestation video where you're like kind of just bringing positivity and I've been doing it once a day and I've had like some good results um, so far so I definitely am gonna link that uh, video for you and I actually think it's better to do in the morning versus doing in the evening um, so I'm gonna try and continue doing that every morning when I wake up because they say with like all the manifestation stuff that your brain is like much more susceptible to like taking on new ideas first thing in the morning instead of you know looking at your emails and getting stressed about work so that's really good then another thing that went right well is that in the month of August uh, in the month of July I started my journey with 5-2 intermittent fasting so I've been doing it now for about three weeks I'm going to do an update video soon so my previous video was like the first week on it and I'm now on week uh three or four I think coming up into my fourth week maybe um and I've been really enjoying that and I've actually for the first time been able to stick to something which is really unheard of for me normally i'm just flitting around different things different methods trying new things but what i do love about the intermittent fasting and i will do a more in-depth video about it is um you can be a bit more relaxed on the other days and also i'm really enjoying like the mental clarity that comes with those first hours that you do the fasting so i'm doing it two days a week any questions that you have about fasting, leave them in the comments about 5-2 fasting and I will address it in next video that I'm doing, which is all about the fasting stuff. Then the other thing that I've been really happy about is that I've been trying my best to stick to doing my Duolingo French every day. I've been trying to do like one unit a day um, and I've been also listening to like French songs like kids french songs on youtube um so those are the two things that i've been doing for french if you guys have any help as well like how did you learn french i know ultimately like the best thing to do would be like get a proper french teacher and so eventually i will probably do that but in the interim i'm just trying to kind of like you know do things every day that kind of keeps my brain like on board with learning the french another thing that like i saw someone say is you could watch Netflix in French and use English subtitles for like familiar stuff. So I think I'm gonna start doing that. I did try it with Emily in Paris, but I haven't actually watched Emily in Paris in English. So I couldn't necessarily follow the storyline. I don't actually know what's going on. I think this method works best if you're following a show that you know inside and out. For me, I mean, if they could do, French subtitles to any of the housewives, especially like the early seasons of like Beverly Hills, New York, um, New Jersey, because I know that like inside and out and I think that would be best, but I don't think there's any way I'll be able to get French dubbed housewives. If you guys know, just let me know because that would be awesome for me. <laughs> then another thing that went really well in the month of July actually was my average steps. I'm just gonna have a look now and see what my average steps were. Yeah, my average steps are up from 9,940 9, is it? To 10,443. So I'm really happy with that. Over 10,000 a day. And my average steps for the year are 10,900. So that's like an average up from 7,000 
222 in 2022 i'm on 10,000, which i'm really happy about that um so yeah that's really good obviously i'm a big big i will never stop talking about how much walking is good for you like it's just the best i think for your mental health and physical health and all of that the other thing that i really enjoyed for the month of all uh, july was doing loads of fun dates with sam my husband we went to bath we went to Western, we went on lots of little day trips and stuff, which I just love doing that. Like my husband has the like most, he's always just working so hard. And so I, we really try and make the weekends like as relaxing and fun as possible. So I've just really enjoyed that. And then talking about weekend activities, we have been playing golf, honestly, every single weekend pretty much for about two or three months now. Sam's mom gave me her golf clubs, so I was like, I have now ladies golf clubs which is really good and i'm definitely seeing like massive improvement um really enjoying it as well like it's my perfect activity on a sunday like for me the perfect sunday is like wake up go and get like a coffee or maybe do a workout go and get a coffee and a pastry and then go and play golf and then either have like a nice lunch at the golf club or have like a really nice roast booked for when you get home and then have like a really nice cozy Sunday in. And I just think for me, golf and Sunday is like the best combination to me. It really just, it's like almost transformed how much I love Sundays. Like I used to like Sundays, but now it's like for me, golf is one of those activities that like has taken Sundays from being like potentially a Sunday scary vibe to like a just amazing thing because the reason why golf is great because it's like active as well and i love doing like active stuff but it's also really like relaxing it's just amazing and then finally in july we had pride month and we went to do i don't think it was pride month it was like june is pride month i think and then july we did pride and that was just like a really fun fulfilling amazing day with friends so i really like that also went to see the new barbie movie with my two best girlfriends which was so nice and we just had a little girly date went for some pizza and it was just really cute anyway so that was everything for july that i loved and now i'm going to talk about what i want to do to reset for august so one of the things that i want to start doing is i have a bad habit of whenever i'm doing like washing up or walking to get coffee or cleaning like vacuuming i always have to be listening to like a podcast or watching like a show or something and i saw this podcast the other day funnily enough that said you really should try and create gaps in your day where you just let your mind wander and you just don't have any content that you're consuming whether it be music or radio or tv or whatever and that's when good ideas will come to you so um i'm really gonna i've started this new thing where i've started putting on a stopwatch like when i ever kind of have a section of like the day which, which could be like going for a walk or doing washing up or um, making the dinner or something where i'm trying to create some space in my mind um because I think that's just good. I think nowadays, I actually think, although I love TikTok, it is, it's like, I think we're gonna end up with having like some mental health problems because of it, because I think people's attention span is gonna get so, so bad. Like at the moment, I'm reading the Wuthering Heights book, and I was saying to Sam the other day, like nowadays, people can't even focus on a 30 second TikTok if it's not the most engaging content. Whereas like you will read a whole chapter or maybe like four pages in Wuthering Heights where like literally nothing major happens to move the storyline along. It will be a lot of descriptive language. It will be like people, the only action that's happened is like somebody, you know, had a supper and like there was some chatter. <laughs> and I was saying to Sam, like people would not nowadays spend time on that stuff i just don't think it, i think it's going to be a thing of the past no one will have attention span and i think it's quite a scary thought so i'm trying to just create that space in my mind obviously i'm going to continue with my 5-2 fasting which i again think is great for mental clarity because you just have stretch in the day like literally seven eight hours where you're not eating anything and it's just like you your brain isn't like kind of taken over by thoughts about food all the time which is great 
August, if we ever get some bloody good weather, it's so great, it's so miserable. I'm thinking I may as well just start drinking pumpkin spice lattes, drinking, um, you know, all the autumn drinks, getting my pumpkin candles out. Um, but, you know, I still have hopes for some good weather in August. So I'm really hoping that we can have at least one more barbecue in the garden. And I want to do a really nice picnic with my best friend and have just like a nice sunny summery evening in the garden i'll let you know at the end if that actually happened when i review my september reset then obviously we're thinking about going on holiday in september um and i've really seen some great results with my like weight loss and stuff and just like to toning and stuff and so i just want to feel really like in great shape for that holiday ready for my bikini um, which right now I'm feeling good, but I feel like I could get even better. So I'm going to continue with that. Continue with the golf, continue with the French. Um, I want to get into my running a bit more, which I know I'm pretty much, I think I said that every single video. I'm not naturally athletic. I like doing my Pilates. I like doing my walking, anything cardio, anything sports athletic it is not something that just comes naturally to me but i know it's really good for me so i'm not gonna ever not try and then finally i just been doing some really cool research recently on like your different palettes and i know i'm wearing black now which is like the worst thing for me and my skin tone but i think i have worked out that i'm a light summer color palette almost a bit like um january jones and margot robbie um so i want to lean into buying more colors which are in line with my summer palette i shouldn't really be wearing black I shouldn't really be wearing white. I should be wearing um, lots more kind of like pastel blue, um, greens, certain greens, a lot of blues. And I actually think for all these years, I have really screwed myself by wearing so much black and I could have worn so much more color and been happier. But I think, do you know what I think? I think when you're in your like early 20s, you kind of feel like you just want to, go with the neutrals and go with the basics and you kind of don't want to it's kind of quite trendy isn't it all the nudes and stuff and that was a big trend for a long time and i wonder whether or not we'll move out of that because kim kardashian she's really into that isn't it all the nudes and the neutrals doesn't really like a lot of like color everything with the skims it's very like muted um and i feel like in my 30s i really want to embrace color um that is in line with my skin, skin tone and palette and everything. So, food for thought. I'm going to let you know how that goes. You might see me wearing a lot more colour, which I'm excited about. Anyway, please leave me a comment to let me know what you are doing for your reset for the month of August. I want to know what your goals are, what you want to achieve, what you want to tweak. And, um, yeah. Um... Wishing you an amazing month. That's it for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.